I'll show you how I remove the rear door and hinges on this Chrysler 300 Magnum or Charger. However, this is pretty much the same for all Chrysler and Dodge cars. Also, if you want to see me remove the front door, then I'll put that video in the description below. If this helps, please like this video and subscribe for more cool repair videos and hacks. So first, there are three possible tool options to choose from to remove this door, depending on the model you have. Preferably first, you'll want to use a power tool with a T50 adapter to get it off. If you can't get it off, then the next preferred option would be using a breaker bar with a T50 bit. If you still can't get it off with that, you can also heat up the ball first with a soldering iron and then use this. Then the other way you can do this is by grabbing a, again, prefer starting off with a long breaker bar just to break the balls loose, and a 13 millimeter deep and short sockets. I'll leave all these tools in the description below and now you'll see in detail how to get the rear door off. Let's get started. Go ahead and open the rear door all the way and you'll see a hinge on the bottom and the top and in the middle a rubber boot which connects the door to the b-pillar. So peel or pry back the rubber with a flathead screwdriver. Next notice how I'm going back and forth with the screwdriver on the top and the bottom as I gently pry this white plastic connector out. Now for a close-up. Look for a push tab on here and squeeze and pull this out with two hands. To me, removing this connector is harder than removing the rest of the door. But I'll show you a trick so you won't struggle. Just use a flathead screwdriver and push down and away on the tab to separate the connector apart. If you think this is the hardest part and are like the screwdriver trick, Please let me and other viewers know in the comments below, because I hate these connectors. Anyway, here's another close-up. Take a look at the top and the bottom of these center hinges with a bolt, I guess. If your car has this, you're lucky, and you'll finish this fast. Not removing the rear door will take just a little longer, so use an impact gun preferably, or a ratchet with a Torx T50 bit on the top and bottom of these hitches. If difficult to remove, use a breaker bar. Now if you don't have those balls in the center, then you have two other options to remove this door. Option one, you could either remove the two nuts from the inside of each hinge with the door open all the way using a ratchet and a 13 millimeter short socket. Or, option two, go around and you'll see the two hinges attached to the B-pillar of the car, which will be removed later. Anyway, you can see me removing this better on camera with the door mostly closed. Keep in mind, the connector is not attached anymore. You don't want to squish that connector while the door is mostly closed. Okay, so now you can remove the two nuts on each hinge. But instead, you'll use a ratchet and a 13 millimeter deep socket. Or you could use your power tool to remove this even faster. Now notice the top of the door hinge has a stem and the other door hinge, but on the bottom also has a stem. These stems help support the weight of the rear door, similarly to the front door. Now go ahead and slightly pick up and pull out the door. It's not as heavy as the front door, but it does have some weight to it. So you could put a stool or a wheelbarrow below to assist in holding the weight if need be, or get a partner. This is how the door looks. There we go. Cool. Next, I'm going to remove the hinges, but if this has helped so far, please like and subscribe. Installing the door is the complete reverse. Just remember to torque each bolt or nut to 31 foot pounds and to reconnect the wire harness connector. When removing the hinges, first trace each hinge with a marker. That way you'll put the hinge on perfectly when reinstalling later. Like before, use a ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket to remove each bolt. Remember, when reinstalling, to torque the bolts to 21 foot pounds. I'll quickly recap everything, but here's how the hinge looks. So, 
If you have the center hinge, remove the bolt and pull the door out. Otherwise, remove two nuts from each hinge and then pull the door off the stems. When reinstalling, line the stems on the door with the hinges. Torque the bolts and nuts of the door to 31 foot pounds, okay? But torque the door hinges that touch the B pillar to 21 foot pounds. So to me, just like when I removed the front door, removing the wire connector on the back door was in my opinion, the hardest part of this job. And I would think others would say the same. Let me know in the comments if you agree and or if you have anything you would like to say to help others. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and please subscribe. Also, go ahead and check out the many helpful videos on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.